Today I'm going to let you in on the secret to the crispiest, most crunchy, popping with flavor, onion bhajras or pakoras. Check these out. Hi, you're watching Plating with Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with ease. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and click on the subscribe button. And while you're there, hit on the bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. These onion bhajras are a street food classic. And there's more. I'm going to be serving them with the most delicious creamy chutney or dipping sauce. All right, so let's get started. For this recipe, we're going to go in with 750 grams of finely sliced red onions, which is approximately about two large red onions or about four to five medium sized onions. Onion bhajras are typically made with red onions, but if you do not have them on hand, you could always use the white onions. To flavor the onion bhajras and to spice it up, we're going to go in with one and a half tablespoon of Kashmiri chili powder, one tablespoon of coriander powder, one tablespoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of garam masala, about half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. A key ingredient in this recipe is to add one teaspoon of carom seeds. And if you don't have carom seeds, you can always add asafoetida. For some earthy flavors, you're gonna go in with one tablespoon of garlic paste and half a tablespoon of ginger paste. And to freshen it up, we're gonna go in with some herbs. We've got one tablespoon of finely chopped curry leaves and two tablespoons of finely chopped cilantro. And for some added spice, we're gonna add two finely chopped green chilies. And for a bit of time, you're gonna add two teaspoons of fresh lemon juice. And to bring out all the flavors, we're gonna add about a teaspoon of salt or you can add salt to taste. Now let's give this all a mix and make sure the onions get well coated with all the flavors. Onion bhajras are best enjoyed on a rainy day. But guess what? I enjoy them all through the year. As we mix it, we're going to give the onions a squeeze so that the onions release their juice. And the salt that we have added is going to help the onions release the juice faster. You'll notice that the level of the onions has gone down because the onions have got soft because they've released their juice. To speed up the process, you could dive in with your hands. Okay, now this is what you're looking for. Now to bind the onions together, we're going to go in with 175 grams or one and a half cup of gram flour. And so that we get those lovely crispy butters, we're going to go in with 125 grams or three fourth cups of finely ground rice flour. Once again, we're going to go in with the tongs and mix it all together, making sure that the gram flour and the rice coats all the onions. Don't forget, you're squeezing it as you go. We're not going to be adding any water here. We're depending solely on the juice of the onions to bind it all together. And this is what you're looking for. Well coated sliced onions. We're going to cover this up and leave it aside so that the onions get a chance to release some more juices while we prepare our dipping sauce. To make the chutney or dipping sauce, we're going to go in with one cup of cilantro. We're just going to add it to the jar. Half a cup of mint leaves. And this is going to give the dipping sauce such a refreshing flavor. And for a little bit of spice, we're going to go in with one green chili. And I've just coarsely chopped it up to give it a head start. And for an earthy flavor, we're going to go in with one clove of garlic. And I roughly chopped that one too. To that, we're going to add half a teaspoon of cumin powder. And for a bit of time, we're going to add one and a half tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And to balance the flavors, we're going to go in with three, four tablespoons of sugar. And to bring out all the flavors, we're going to go in with one, four teaspoon of salt. We're going to help it by adding two tablespoons of water, and then we could add more if we need to. And now we're going to blend this together into a smooth paste. And that's the smooth paste you're looking for. And to that, we're gonna add one cup of yogurt. Now let's give it a mix and bring it all together. Our dipping sauce is now ready. We're gonna transfer it to a bowl and refrigerate it for later. Now that our dipping sauce is all ready, let's give these onions another mix so that we get up all the juices that they have released. 
So you don't have to add any water when making bhajras because the juices that the onions release are enough to bring it all together. Okay, let's go over to the stove and fry up the bhajras. In a heavy bottom pot or a wok, we're going to heat up oil to fry the bhajras. When a bamboo skewer inserted into the oil brings bubbles to the surface, you know you're ready to go. We're gently going to drop in the onion mixture into the hot oil, a spoonful at a time. Using a spider skimmer, we're going to move them around in the hot oil and we're going to fry them till they're golden brown and crispy. And once they're done, we're going to lift them up, drain off the excess oil and place them in a colander while we fry up the rest. I recommend frying just about four to five onion bhajas at a time so that we do not drop the temperature of the oil. And for a garnish, I just fried up some curry leaves in the hot oil after frying the bhajas. Let's plate them up with our creamy chutney, some lemon wedges and a cream chili. Oh! My goodness, look at that. Now it's time to give the bhajas a taste. I'm so excited, oh my gosh. Wow. These bhajas, they're so crunchy and all the different flavors that we have put have combined so well together and they have just the right amount of spice and the chutney that we have prepared just takes it to another level. Now I'm going to find it difficult to stop eating them and if you want to enjoy them you'll find the written recipe on my website platingitwithwendy.com. Thanks for watching, see you soon!